All right, last one of the uh, explicit initial value problems that involve differential equations. And just like all the other ones, we're gonna just dive on into this guy by multiplying everything by dt. We wanna get rid of the fraction on the left. And so we're gonna multiply everything by dt. Now I'm gonna do two steps for the price of one here. Two steps for the price of one. I have ds equals, now watch this, 15t squared minus 6 did you catch what I did? Did you catch what I did? I went ahead and distributed. Why? Because when I take the integral on that left, the only thing we have on the left is s. Okay, so that's going to give an s. On the right, instead of having two separate things to work with that are multiplying together, I have two pieces. I have an actual function. So derivative of what is 15t squared? Well, remember, t squared had to start with t cubed. So three times what number is 15, okay? And then on the other side, uh, t to the first power has to go to t squared. So two times what number is six, all right? So there you go. There's the, those two pieces. Now we're gonna have a plus c back here. And since we're working with an initial value problem, they're telling us we want that main function to have gone through those guys. So when s is 4, t is 1. So 4 is going to be equal to 5 minus 3 plus c. Uh, 5 minus 3 is 2. So let me give myself a little more room here. So 5 equals 2 plus c. So 3 is equal to C, okay? Did I do that right? 5t squared plus 3t, put 1s, 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3 is 2, subtract 2, oh, that should be a 4. I don't know where that 5 came from. My spidey senses were tingling. That should be 4, and this should be 2. Okay, so my final answer, final answer for this guy is going to be s equals 5t cubed minus 3t squared plus 2. And that's it. That's all there is for these problems. And again, on 22, pause the video, work this problem again, see if you can get to the same answer that I got without getting a hint. If you need a hint, watch, see what you need to learn, try it again.